We are excited to welcome middle school and high school students back into our school buildings. We all need to work together to help prevent the spread of COVID-19. Here's what students need to know about attending school in person during the pandemic. Before leaving home, check for symptoms. If you have a fever of 100 degrees or higher, chills, a cough, shortness of breath, loss of taste or smell, or other symptoms, do not come to school. Staying home when you or someone you live with are sick is one of the most important things we can do to prevent the spread of COVID. Every day before arriving at school, everyone must verify if they're having any COVID symptoms through a process called a daily attestation. Every morning, we'll send an email and a text message if you'd like with a link to a short questionnaire. Respond to a few short questions about any symptoms and you'll see a message on whether you're cleared to enter the school building. At the school entrance, everyone will have their temperature taken using an infrared thermometer. Anyone with a temperature of 100 degrees Fahrenheit or higher will be sent home. Everyone must wear a face covering that covers the nose and reaches down below the chin. With a few exceptions, such as during lunch, it needs to be in place the whole time you're in a school building or on school grounds. Physical distancing is critical. Stay at least six feet apart as much as possible. Classrooms will be set up to allow people to keep that distance between them. Lunch will be provided in the cafeteria to any student at no cost, or you can bring your own lunch from home. Meals in the cafeteria will be prepared by food service staff, so there won't be any self-service options such as salad bars. High schoolers who have parent permission can leave campus to pick up lunch away from school. Be sure to charge up your laptops and other devices before coming to school because there will be limited opportunities to charge them during the day. Keep moving between classes and before and after school. Go straight to your destination and don't hang out or form groups in the hallways. Keep your hands clean. Students and staff should wash their hands for at least 20 seconds using soap and water or use hand sanitizer when soap and water aren't available. Wash or sanitize hands frequently. Custodial staff clean and disinfect all surfaces regularly using a solution that kills viruses and other germs. Surfaces that are touched frequently are cleaned multiple times throughout the day. If a student starts to experience any symptoms of COVID-19 while at school, they will be kept away from other students and their parents will be called. Students may need to remain quarantined at home for a period of time before returning to school based on symptoms, COVID test results, and whether they have close contact with people who have the virus. Thank you for following these guidelines to make it possible to get back into our school buildings. We can't wait to see you.